The dark side of human personality has long been a fascination of psychologists and behavioral scientists. In psychology, the dark triad refers to the personality traits of narcissism, Machiavellianism and psychopathy. In this video, we are going to take a close look at the three traits that form the dark triad, how they develop and in which environments they can frequently be encountered. We will also learn how to identify indicators for the dark traits and how to deal with people who express them. You will be surprised about how common the dark triad really is. We begin with the most common personality trait – Narcissism. The narcissistic personality disorder is a long-term pattern of egotistical interest in or admiration of oneself. Narcissists tend to be excessively preoccupied with themselves and motivated by getting admiration from others and maintaining a grandiose self-image. Because narcissists are so preoccupied with getting others to buy into their self-image, they may initially seem charming. But most narcissists have trouble developing real relationships on account of their difficulty with empathy and lack of interest in others. It comes naturally to say that this personality trait is prevalent within successful actors, singers and similar professions that are usually at the center of media attention. The second trait of the dark triad was named after Niccolo Machiavelli, an Italian Renaissance diplomat, philosopher and author of the famous book Il Principe, The Prince, in which the term Machiavellianism originates. Machiavellianism is characterized by a highly calculating interpersonal style, a disregard for conventional morality and a focus on self-interest and personal gain. Machiavellianists strategically manipulate and exploit others to act in their interest, even if it harms the person they are instrumentalizing. They show little empathy for any losses or pain they cause on their path to power. Machiavellians typically reside in positions of power and can be found among the ranks of politicians, business leaders, diplomats or any organizational structure that rewards ruthless strategic behavior. The last trait associated with the dark triad is psychopathy, which movie lovers among us will probably associate with criminals and serial killers. And although this might be a stereotypical and certainly dramatized display, there is an interesting reason behind the mystification of this personality disorder. Psychopathy is identified by shallow emotional responses. The underdeveloped affection of psychopaths endows them with high stress tolerance. Like Machiavellians, they show little empathy or guilt, prompting them to seek out extremely stimulating activities. This can include sex, violence, drugs or financial risk, resulting in explosive impulsivity and a disposition for antisocial behavior. Not all psychopaths assert all or even any of the described non-desirable behaviors, but a combination with other malevolent traits, for example due to individual personal history, may lead to a destructive overall personality. To understand how the dark triad forms, it can be helpful to look at the three traits individually and trace their origins in a person's development. What all three dark traits have in common is that their existence is likely a mixture of genetic predisposition and environmental influences in early life. Beside inherited characteristics, narcissistic personality disorder might be caused by mismatches in parent-child relationships, with either excessive adoration, spoiling and pampering, or excessive criticism that is purely attuned to the child's experience, leaving it feeling unappreciated and unloved. Causes for psychopathy can range from environmental to biological as well. This extreme lack of empathy might be caused by brain damage in specific areas important for emotional processing, or other neurological and maybe inherited impairments or traumatic events during childhood. The environmental causes for the behavioral disturbances observed in psychopathy can be broad. 
Factors preventing the development of empathy can range from parental neglect and a disrupted family to detrimental treatment by peers, for example being heavily bullied and humiliated. However, it is difficult to determine the extent of an environmental influence on the development of psychopathy because of the strong evidence of its possible genetic and or neurological causes. Machiavellianism can be developed as a survival or mating strategy in toxic environments. Depending on inherited traits and early childhood experience, manipulative behavior and strategic exploitation can be important to thrive in environments where making a mistake could prove dangerous. This learned behavior is then projected and applied in the whole world. It comes as no surprise that the self-centered narcissism and the psychotic lack of empathy are so frequently observed together with Machiavellian behavior. When you have identified someone close to you with dark triad traits, either in your team at work or in your personal life, backing out of that person's sphere of influence comes naturally as a first thought, and it is probably the best option to keep your peace. People with a strong dark triad don't make good allies or friends because they only ever act for their own gain, meaning trust or reliability cannot be sustainably established. When a situation arises where negative consequences for you are beneficial to them, they will utilize it. However, sometimes backing off is not an option and dealing with a toxic person is necessary. Manipulative people are often good at hiding their behavior or actions, but there are signs you can look out for, such as someone who won't take no for an answer, who always excuses their hurtful behavior or presents a different face to different people to serve their purposes. If you challenge a manipulative person, be specific about what actions you have spotted and how they are harming you or your team. Someone with psychotic traits may be prone to anger and aggression. Often, signs of anger are easy to spot, for example, a raised voice, a flushed face and sweating. But some people try to suppress their anger, which can then show itself in passive-aggressive ways, such as sulking or ignoring people. Sometimes anger can spill over into bullying. At a simple level, this can include verbal abuse or threatening behavior, but it can often be more subtle and include unnecessary criticism, belittling someone or spreading malicious rumors. It is important not to tolerate this behavior, distancing yourself emotionally and holding the person fully accountable for their actions. Especially narcissists with big egos often don't expect to be challenged, so stand your ground and meet their claims or demands with solid counter-arguments. When deciding to deal with a person that asserts dark triad behavior, it is essential to build up conflict resolution skills, be assertive and develop emotional intelligence to better analyze their behavior and motives. At the end of this video, I now want to give you an example of where strong dark triad traits can lead the people carrying them. In the past century, three extreme representatives of the dark triad wreaked havoc across the entire world. What they all had in common is their obsession with rising to power, achieving their personal goals through intrigue, intimidation and exploitation. While they build up a cult of personality solely focused on themselves, their psychopathic lack of empathy and manipulative aggression led to the death of millions of people, eliminating any opposition in their way to position themselves as the center of their world. People with the dark triad will exploit and manipulate you, sometimes without you even noticing. Stay valorous.